Hi everybody, this, well, I just got back from Wisconsin, it's October 4th, as you know, October is the month of Halloween, so you know what time it is, horror movie reviews, yes, and I've improved since the 2008, since like the first videos I ever started doing were reviews, I've improved since my last October reviews, it's not because my voice has gotten really deep, it's just because I, oh. Alright, uh, it's just because, I don't know, I've, improved, I've seen a lot more films since then. So here we go. October 2010 movie reviews. Number one. I got this for Christmas last year. It is Jess Franco's Faceless. That's right, Faceless. Shriek Show. Although I did not get this with the box set, I got this along with nothing. I just bought this along. There's Bridget Leahy, or however you say this. It stars Helmut Belga, Helmut Belga, Brigitte Leahy, Christopher Mitchum, Teddy Savalas. Okay, I don't need to do them cheesy impressions no more. All right. Well, anyways, this is this is shot in France. Shot in 1987. It's about like this doctor, his wife girlfriend, whatever you call her, Natalie, and uh, his sister, played by Christiane Jean or something like that, they're strolling around one night in Paris, and, well, if, uh, since the, the guy is a plastic surgeon, and one night a former client who has, like, a scar on her cheek, like, she's all pissed, she, she throws acid at the doctor, trying to get, but it, hit, it misses him and hits his sister in the face, and burns up, it's all like screwed up, <laughs> it's all like red, skin's like, falls off, it's kind of a cool makeup effect, it, Christian Jean's a beautiful woman otherwise, so, so it's pretty much, this doctor is going around kidnapping models from the streets of Paris to perform a facial, a facial transplant on his sister. That's where the that's where the uh, second story comes in. This model from New York is out in France, and she's one of the one, and her dad is played by Telly Savalas, of all people. Yes, Kojak, Kojak's in this movie. Out of all people, he sends out Robert Mitchum's son out to Paris to go find her. He looks a hell of a lot like his father in this movie. That's true. Although there are no pictures of him on the cover, there's a very small one on the back, but you cannot see that. Okay, well, so it's pretty much up to Chris Mitchum to find out what's going on at the clinic and all that stuff. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So that's the story of Faceless. It's a pretty gory one, too. Now, spoilers! If you don't want to hear the spoilers of this movie, cross out this review right now, because I'm going to go through the death scenes. One of them is plainly on the back cover. You get the that girl getting stabbed in the eye, uh, Stefan Audrin, that's her name, she played Mrs. Sherman, some red-headed old crazy chick, <laughs> she's in like a wheelchair, she keeps, she's saying like, I know things around here, doctor, that you don't know, oh, oh, come to my room so we can talk about them, <coughs> no, it's <not> but, <laughs> so anyways, like, they kill her off, they stick the damn needle, you get like a, POV, well not a POV, but like a really close shot of the eye, the needle goes in there pulling the blood out, it's gruesome. Then, uh, since Bridget Leahy, she's the character that stabbed her, she like takes the necklace off, and like, she's, that, when she steals Barbara's watch at the beginning of the movie, that's pretty much like a clue to, as to what happens later in this. Uh, well, to be, and then you got the, uh, I don't know the character's name. I know the actress's real name is Isabel Knockhart. She's like this desk clerk, and she gets locked in this cabinet, and the, the henchman there, like, drills through her head, and you get, like, a shot inside, just like, <laughs> pretty gory. Um, then the, the infamous operation scenes. There's two of them, because the first one was a fail, because the Nazi doctor, played by Anton Diffring, screwed up and stretched the face out too much. Um, 
Uh, see, now, to be quite honest with you, you know, between the two stores, like the Tully Savalas, Chris Mitchum, then the uh, Helmet Burger, Bridget Leahy, I did not find the Helmet Burger one as... I don't know. I found the uh, the private detective Chris Mitchum going around trying to find the daughter more interesting because besides the operation scenes, the only thing that really happens on a Flamont side is them talking to people and a couple lesbian scenes, but I'm not a pervert, so I'm not going to get into that. So, <laughs> so pretty much just the operation scenes, and then they're just like talking to a bunch of people. I mean, that's it's not really as exciting. At least, you know, the... The, hang on a second. And at least with the uh, Chris Mitchum, even though the Chris Mitchum story is cheesy, you know, you still get, like, the hilarious scene. He's, like, always grabbing people by their shorts and, like, beating them up. For them. Especially when he had uh, the photo op, like, played by Marcel Philip Pot, as Chris Mitchum was making a big deal about, like, in the special features for this. Uh, like, he was beating up on this gay guy in this one hotel or something and uh, then this bodybuilder guy comes up and they start beating each other up and like they almost break this vase and then he's like oh doo doo please since that man's gone put this vase back on the council and doo doo being a clutch drops the damn thing resulting in the photo op fainting <laughs> oh. I don't know I just found the Chris Mitchum story more and if it if if it was only around Flamond and, like, Natalie and all of them, I don't think this movie would be good. I mean, the Chris Mitchum story just established the entertainment in there. That's why the ending of this movie really kind of pissed me off. <laughs> Once again, like, this contained... Well, I'm not going to say the ending. All I'm going to say is the ending of this movie pissed me off a great deal. <laughs> Um, but at least it's open-ended, so I mean, it could work out in the end, you don't know. And I forgot who, uh, the daughter is played by Caroline Monroe from Maniac, which a lot of you probably seen. And she was also in Just Before Christmas or something like that, I forget. Um, so, uh, the, like, this movie is pretty good, it's very gory throughout. It's all good. The only thing I disliked about this was the really poor ending. And, um, the, I was watching it with the, uh, Chris Mitchum commentary. It's funny, when the, the end credits start playing, like, uh, Chris Mitchum and the guy he's doing the commentary with, their voices get completely drowned out by the song playing during the end credits. It's like, I put my, literally, I did this, I put my ear up to the speaker, couldn't hear a thing, all I heard was, Destination nowhere, a half a mile to paradise. Tell me what you. I, that's a good song. I know. I know a lot of reviews I've read online of Faceless don't like that song. I, I don't know if it's because I'm pretty good friends with the guy that sings it, Vincenzo Toma. No, he, he's a cool guy. Check out his movie. He also did a couple other songs for this movie. Uh, he did Faceless, which is the theme song, and he did In the Heart of the City, and Crystal Eyes. But that's ironic, because Crystal Eyes, for whatever reason, was not on the end credits. <laughs> this plays in the scene where they kidnap Florence Grant. It's like, show me how you crystallize shades of free. I, I'm a terrible singer, don't listen to me. All right, but... But in conclusion, Faceless is a very unique horror movie. It's one of my favorite horror movies, without a doubt. Very gory. It's funny at some points, like when Chris Mitchum was beating up on that doo-doo guy, that bodybuilder. Like, ooh, ooh, that kicks him in the balls. Hang on. Again. And, uh, I don't know, it just, it's got a very unique atmosphere. I... I have the entire soundtrack to this movie. The sound, the entire soundtrack is very, very, very rare, and I actually have it. So I highly recommend Faceless to anybody who has not seen it yet. Stay tuned for more October 2010 horror movie reviews.